Charlotte. Kimberly. From the series Fresh Meat on <laughs> Channel 4. Now, just, just wondering, just seamlessly wondering, if you could have a Freaky Friday moment with any celebrity, who would it be? I have a bit of a girl crush on Jennifer Garner. I think she's stunning. I'm going to say, because it's the first thing that came into my head, Bear Grylls. Because, because, no, because I can't do adventure things or strong things, so I think for a day, that would be ideal. I would, I would probably be <clears throat> Ryan Gosling, because then I could kiss myself and touch myself and be in bed with myself. And it would sort of be like being in bed with Ryan. Thank you. There's also this week a, a drop of blood to represent being on your period. Uh, hey! <laughs> are you okay? People are appalled by this. People are repulsed. That's interesting. Are you repulsed by that? No, I'm on my period right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to use that immediately after this show. <laughs> Twenty-five drops. <laughs> I grew up in a place called Hackney in London, and. Like so many places in London and here in New York, it was an incredibly artistic community and I actually grew up round the corner from where Harold Pinter grew up. So if you want a snapshot of my childhood, the relevant answer right now is me and Pinter. Well, we essentially grew up together. There's just something so epic when you're from the UK about the, just the bright lights of Broadway. You know, it is fed to you in this really specific way and I have to say it, it, it doesn't disappoint. Uh, what does everyone think Zowie's coming as? Loki! Uh, as Loki? <laughs> yeah, potentially. What about Tom? What about Charlie? Loki! <laughs> what? Get, get up! Oh, we got anyone coming? Okay, let me see. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sister, sister in arms! My natural hair is in my way! Looking, looking fresh, girl! You look amazing, Cap! Um, where, where, where are our. Uh... <laughs> No money. No money. Where? Right here. Oh my God! Women. Oh my God! I love it. I love it. Oh my God! What TV show would you love to guest star on, and what TV show would you love to guest write and direct? <gasps> you go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to uh, pick something that's a bit weird because it's not really a show. It's kind of um, like it's not a drama or anything, but I'm really desperate to be on or involved with RuPaul's Drag Race in any way. Um, it's, I don't know what what that yeah. means necessarily, whether that's me doing the drag. I don't think they would go for that, me actually being part of the, the drag competitors, but if I could just be on that maybe as an assistant or I don't know, like a co-anchor or something, I, th I think that would be great. I want to be one of the judges on the British Baking Show. <laughs> no, you but that and, is not, but and not only for the food, but it's, life seems so nice under the, the tent. Like it just seems so. Everything seems so. Say like nothing bad could happen when you're judging the tent. You know that one. Oh my God! I won. I'll tell you what. Let me try and move my head out of the shadow. <laughs> I don't win anything, this is great, no, yeah. No, 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 tell, us, tell us what you won for camera. Uh, I've won Ultimate Newcomer is, tonight, presented by Jack Whitehall, <laughs> close friend, <laughs> colleague, um, it, which has been amazing. And he gave me such a lovely intro. He's never usually like that. Nice. He was so nice, <laughs> gentle, sweet. Very nice. Green flags are always kindness. You can always tell when someone's very kind. Um, kind eyes. 
kind eyes, authenticity, nice to animals. The first time I came, I was so nervous, and um, everyone very kindly sort of offers you drinks and um, things when you arrive, and I just said yes to Prosecco at every opportunity. <laughs> and then we all went for a drink afterwards, guys, do you remember? You were there. Um, and I... <laughs> you weren't excited, sorry about that. <laughs> It was a great night. A <laughs> and I, I had a very long car journey home because I'd actually just moved out of London, about an hour and a half out of London. And so, uh, at a point in the car journey, <gasps> I felt somewhat ill. Oh. And I didn't want to upset the cab driver, so I, I puked into my handbag. Oh. And oh. I just got my passport renewed. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of really kind of carefully took the passport out and put it on the oh, side okay. and then just went, ah, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> And I don't think the cab driver actually noticed. Wow. So that's acting, oh, guys. Wow. Oscar yeah. show <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, As a child, I just loved theatre. I just have always loved telling stories. I think that's the thing that's followed me from childhood to adulthood. The first stage play I ever did, I got cast in the role of Fisherman Number One's wife, I think. The play was called The Wishing Chair. And then I got flu and I had to be off school for like two, three weeks. And when I got back, another girl had been cast as the Fisherman's wife and I was cast as the chair, it's the title role. I think I knew that I had to train as an actor when I'd got to age sort of 19 and I'd been acting professionally since age six. So I'd already sort of seen a cycle of roles that were coming my way. I mustn't go and get my training and my degree because I'm scared of being typecast, but at the same time, I mustn't not get my degree because I'm scared of uh, losing momentum. And so I decided to train and I went to drama school. And the winner is... Fresh me. Hello NME, thank you so much. This is our second one. The first one is in my toilet and um, God knows where this is going to go. I have two colleagues here, Jack Whitehall and Greg McHugh. They are probably eating Domino's somewhere. They are not here with me. Um, but love to them. Thank you, Kimberly Nixon and Charlotte Ritchie, who complete our dysfunctional family. Thank you to Channel 4 and Objective, everyone who voted. TV shows, probably the lamest award of the night. No one cares, but I all love you musicians very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mum, and thank you, Idris Elba. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I need the toilet. And I went to the toilet and I came back and I found out we'd won and then it was a total mistake. I'm really sorry, Zowie's got the award. Thank you very much indeed. Jack's here as well, thank you very much. Didn't even wash my hands. Sorry, thank you. Too late, too late. No, I'm Just sorry, go. I'm sorry. Just go, just go. Thank you. I don't, I don't want to promote, you know, being unprofessional and drinking ahead of going to work. <laughs> I don't want to do that, but Vod's uh, um, overdose yeah. in the hospital was shot the day after my birthday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that was probably the any most makeup. hungover I've ever been to the point where, because also, you know, this is one of our first massive nights out together as well, so you are genuinely trying as hard as the characters to sort of <laughs> be the, you know, the coolest person you can be. And so um, I didn't need any makeup because I looked like I was recovering from an overdose. <laughs> and we were filming in a real life hospital and everyone was doing so well because it's the scene where they're all sort of stood around my hospital bed. And I was like, God, everyone's doing so well. I'm like sweating and I can smell the wine coming out of my pores. <laughs> um, and uh, one of the, the, the main sort of ensemble scene finished and everyone disappeared and I was helped out of the hospital bed by a lovely assistant and then was walking through the hospital corridor and someone who was genuinely unwell in the hospital went, God, do you think she's all right? <laughs> 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 <It's> terminal! <laughs>